What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing a wither skeleton from Minecraft. Let's get started at the top of our page and draw the front edge of the head. Starting right at the very top, we draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top. We're going to angle the head going up and then out towards the left. Let's go back down towards the bottom and draw that same length line. Starting down here, going up in an angle. We're just going to line this up on the left side. Let's close off the side with a straight line, going all the way down towards the bottom. Now we want to take these three sides and flip it over on the right. So start at the very top, angle up and back towards the right, come down towards the bottom, draw that same length line. Again, just lining this up on the right side. Connect the top and bottom with a straight line. Let's close off the top of the head to create a cube. We're going to start on the left side. We're going to follow that same angle line, going all the way up towards the middle. Angle that back down and out on the right. Now that we've created that cube, let's go to the left side and draw on the face. From the bottom, we're going to step up, draw a short angle line coming down towards the right. Go up along the side with that same length line. And we'll close off the top. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. And now we're going to move up and draw on the eyes. Let's leave a gap in the center, draw two lines. One on the left, move over, draw one on the right. Now from the bottom, we're going to angle this up and out. And come down and out. We'll go up along the side. And we'll close off the top with an angled line. Let's fill the inside of the eyes in black. Now we're going to move down and draw the front edge of the body. On the left side, let's step in, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the torso. Now we're going to take that same length line and draw the same thing on the right. From this point, let's step over, come down to right about there, and we'll close off the bottom with the same angle along the bottom of the head. Coming down, and then out. Let's add an opening in the center of the body. On the left side, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down. And then from the right side, we'll step in, draw another line, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's add that thick edge along the inside of the body. From this point, angle up and back, and it's down towards the right. Go back over towards the left, go straight up underneath the head. Let's move over and draw the right arm on top of the body. We start halfway along the bottom edge, come down and in, and then from the ends, we'll draw two straight angle lines coming down towards the side. Close off the bottom with a straight angle line. Now we're going to bend the arm across the elbow. Let's start up here, angle down and back, go up to the inside, draw that same length line, close off the bottom with that same angle line. And then the bottom of the arm is going to come forward, starting up here, angle down towards the left, move over towards the right, draw that again, and we'll close off the bottom. And then we'll draw on the back side of the arm, starting from the very top, coming down and out towards the elbow, and we'll follow this line, coming down towards the bottom of the arm, to right about there, connect the bottoms with a straight line. Now with the arm in place, let's draw on the side of the body. Starting from this point, angle up and over towards the right in behind the arm. And then from the bottom corner of the head, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're going to add some ribs across the side of the body. From the bottom, we're going to step up, draw a straight line going back. And from the top, we'll step down, angle back in behind the arm, and then towards the back. Now we're going to add one more rib in the center. From the bottom, we'll step up, angle this back. From the top, we'll step down, and go all the way back in behind the arm. 
Let's go back underneath the body and draw on the ribs. From the bottom corner, step in, draw a straight line coming down. From the right corner, we'll step in, draw another line. Now we're going to pull the ribs in, coming down and in, leaving a gap in the center. And then from the inside, draw a short line going up. Let's trace the ribs back up underneath the body, going out toward the side and then go straight up underneath the body. Now we're going to place the spine underneath the body. From the bottom corner of the rib, we're going to step over, draw a straight line coming down, and then from the bottom, we'll angle up and out toward the left and right side. From the ends, draw a straight line going up, just continue up above the rib, and do the same thing on the right. Let's place the lower torso underneath that spine. Starting from the hand, draw a straight angle line coming in. Now we're angle this up towards the side, towards the left, going up and then out. Let's pull that back in, going up, in behind the rib. Now we're going to go to the right side of the spine, and goes down and out. Let's go over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down. Draw that same length line in the middle. Let's connect the bottom with another line, coming down. And we'll pull this back in behind the hand. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the legs. We'll start halfway along this line, and the right leg, coming down and back towards the bottom. Let's flatten off the bottom with that same angled line, coming down and out. And we'll draw that same angled line going back up underneath the lower torso. Let's go back to the bottom, angle the leg going back, and then again we'll draw that same angle line going all the way back up towards the top. Let's move back up and bend the left leg, starting in the middle, angle the leg coming down and out towards the knee, flatten off the bottom with an angle line going up. Now we connect the hip to the bottom of the leg with a straight angled line. And then we'll pull the bottom of the leg coming straight down, starting from the inside, straight down towards the bottom. Go to the outside of the knee, draw that same length line, and we'll close off the bottom with an angled line. And now we'll work our way along the inside of the leg, starting from this point, go up and back, go straight up, and we'll follow that same angle line going in behind the right leg. Now we're going to move back up and draw the left arm holding the sword. From the top of the body, we're going to step down, draw a straight angle line, coming all the way down and out towards the edge of the hand. Then from here, angle down towards the bottom, and we'll follow that same angle line going back up in behind the body. Let's flatten off the end of the hand. From the top corner, angle up and out, come down to the bottom, draw that same length line, and we'll close off the outside. Now we're going to place the sword on top of the arm. Starting from the end, step in, go straight angle line going back, and then from the ends, angle up and out. And then from the top, angle down and out towards the side, go back up and out. Now we're going to work our way up towards the top of the hilt. Starting back on the left, go up and in, and down and in, go back up and in. And then we're going to pull this back in towards the center of the hilt. Pull this down and in towards the middle, and the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the outside and tuck the arm in behind the sword. Starting up here, angle this back, continue in between, and then all the way in behind the head. Now we're going to create a series of points going up along the side of the sword. Start from this point, angle up and out, come up and in. And then we'll continue this all the way up towards the top of the sword.
Let's add one more. Okay, up and out. I'm going to pull this up and in towards the center point. And now we're going to add the trim along the outside. Starting from the bottom, and go up and in. And we'll connect this to the point along the top. And then we'll continue all the way up towards the top. Now you want to extend the sword along the top, starting from this point, come back in. Now I'm going to stretch this line going all the way out towards the side, and then pull that back in towards the center point. Let's go back down to the bottom, angle down and out, and then come back in towards the middle to create a diamond. Now we want to move down and draw the bottom of the handle. Starting down here, draw two straight angled lines, and we'll pull that down and in towards the center. Let's trace this along the inside, coming down along the top, and then pull this down towards the middle. And that's pretty much it. There's a wither skeleton from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.